Has this ever happened to you? You've been working on a pattern and you made a change and you don't really know where the original line is and it's been way too long to just click Control Z to get it back. That's where reference lines comes in handy in Clo. You can see what changes you've made and compare them to the original. So first things first, if you aren't seeing your reference lines, you need to make sure you have them viewable. In your 2D toggle icon menu, make sure they're turned on. It's the second to last one from the right, and it's the little t-shirt with the double lines. Now with the transform pattern tool, select all of your pattern pieces, right click and select clone as reference line. I like to do this at the very start of any project when I open up a pattern file. So now when I make edits to the pattern, a reference line will appear where that original line was. This is very helpful to see your edits and see any tiny changes or to keep track of large changes as well. By selecting I on the keyboard, I can engage the trace tool. I can right click on that line and select cut if I want to revert back to that shape or just keep it in mind and use it as reference so that I know how far away from the original and what changes are being made as I make these pattern edits. I can bring this outline right back to the original. That way we can ensure that this pattern outline isn't being unintentionally changed. Using reference lines helps ensure your patterns are at the highest quality, especially when working with a reference block to start from so you can maintain proper fit and the proper outlines. I hope you found this helpful. And if you have a topic you'd like me to cover in a future video, please let me know. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.